Hi folks, it's the uh, second week of March, what we call the March break here in Ontario. Uh, I'm going for a seven day solo. Uh, it's, uh, it's warmed up quite a bit, it's above freezing right now. And it's gonna be soggy for the next couple days, but I hope it cools down. This is typically the last trip of our winter here before it starts raining. I've got about a 4K haul into a campsite that I prepped uh, earlier this winter. And hopefully uh, all my preparations are still there. So far the skiing's really good. I got a, uh, the snow here is about, um, there's almost two feet on the, on the lake. <clears throat> it's been wind packed. It's uh, melted and frozen it feels like because there's a bit of a crust. You can see my skis are not sinking down. Um, but it's, it's deep. There's a, uh, my pole's going down about six inches or so. Um, there's several layers of frozen slush. I've already gone through a couple slush pockets where I floated over really easy, but my poles went right down into about uh, four inches of liquid slush on top of the ice. Uh, but I think with all the, the wind we've had and the, um, the deep cold that the slush is capped over, I'm hoping, uh, for most of this haul. It's about a 4k haul and I've got no snowmobile trail pack um, I got the looks like I got the whole lake to myself here. There's not Not a single snowmobile track. I'm in the lower part here. There's a narrows up there and it's going to open up Into the big north end of the lake. I'll show you that when I get there Out of breath here uh, It's it's supposed to go up to plus five degrees today above freezing and the uh, toboggan is pulling pretty easy so I can't complain oh the skis are uh, waxless uh, these are Carhu Orions they've got uh, the Omnitrack waxless scale which I think is the ski of choice for the waxless part it's the ski of choice for the this above freezing conditions I'm getting a good grip with the scales without my climbing skins on uh, it would be very difficult to wax today for plus five beautiful stand of pure red pine there we're not quite at the northern edge of red pine range here but getting close to it I'm in the narrows here the wide narrows and then the north the north part of the lake opens up down there just this is one of the best hauls I've ever had with this wet snow and the skis are I'm actually getting a bit of a glide I just got one pole here with my hand on the camera so I can't show you the glide but you can see I get a stride about to the tip and pass with every with every stride I spoke too soon about the easy traveling. I'm losing structure of the snow as it heats up and my skis are uh, sinking down. And these aren't good trail breakers for toboggan, so my toboggan is, is tilting one way or the other then cutting in and plowing. So I'm gonna have to work for my kilometers today. We're in the, just out of the wide narrows here and opening up into the north part of the lake here. Going is good.
well, made it to the campsite area. Me and my buddies camped here about a month ago. We had it all packed down, a trail system developed, but it's snowed over a foot, maybe two feet since then. Ski's got to come off. And snow boots, ski boots off, snow boots on. I brought my synthetic snowshoes because it's going to be wet and soggy snow. Got the tent pad packed there. And I'm just going to stay off it for a while. Um, haven't got too long though to wait because uh, sun's getting low. These are the spruce and balsam boughs that we cached. Had a bit of snow since we were here over a month ago. Got to dig those out. Show you the type of forest I'm in here. Jack pine and black spruce predominantly with an understory of balsam fir. This is our pre-cut firewood supply. It was buried in the snow. We weren't able to find a, a V-notch to stack it up above the snow, which is my preference. Just getting the tent set up now. There's uh, some firewood poles uncut, leaning up over there. So those will be dry. The snow is right on the edge in the bush here of uh, being soaked. So hope that uh, wood doesn't get soaked there. I can't deal with that right now. I got nowhere to stack it and I gotta get the boughs into the tent and get that stove going and get some water going. At last, got the camp set up, got the fire going, some of the wood was wet, some of it still is, I'm going to have to do some serious drying there. Biggest, biggest task is setting the boughs in, that's quite a task, and leveling the stove and getting the skids and everything. <clears throat> Not a clean burn yet, some of that wood is wet, but uh, once we get some coals built up, we'll get some hotter. The stove will get hotter. Got some balsam fir tea going here. Very good. Well, if you've watched my videos before, this setup will look familiar. Got the beeswax candle there hanging off a stick. Has to hang low. If it's up there, it'll melt because it's too hot up there. Splits drying. And uh, my first order of kindling, which is spruce twigs, birch bark. That's some wood that I normally store outside, but because it's so warm and wet and it might rain, I'm bringing as much wood as I can in. <clears throat> this wood here is drying by the stove. Those are my work gloves there, drying as well. And I won't, I won't feed the stove off these. I'll get this maximum dry um, for start up in the morning firewood. So I'm cooking with this. And what's for dinner tonight is it's done. I'm just steaming it. It's uh, Dried ground beef, dried mushrooms, dried onions, dried olives, and uh, a canor pesto penne mix. And uh, added my own olive oil to it and garlic. So I think that's ready to eat. <laughs> 